Hello and welcome to another exasperous um, installment of the Helene Rebellion Rock and Roll Association. It is I, your intrepid conductor, Holly Geist, to show you the ways through the tangled paths of rock and roll. <clears throat> I have been in a, ooh, a classic rock, classic metal sort of mindset in these last two weeks. And you know what? I did Twisted Sister last week. This, this week, we're going to, we're going to kind of stay in the same vein and uh, keep uh, this rock and roll train going. Uh, so tonight we're going to visit uh, this band. Nazareth. Nazareth would get started in 1968. Um, they come from the town of... Oh my god, I, I'm going to butcher the name... It's, uh, Dernferlane, Dernferlane, uh, and it's a, uh, a town that's roughly 80,000 people strong in, uh, the country of Scotland. I found this out recently, um, I had no idea that Nazareth were Scottish lads, and I was pleasantly surprised. I had always thought they were from England. Dernfelain is known for being the resting place of most of Scotland's kings and queens, including probably their most famous king, Robert the Bruce. Um, they're also known for the great rock and roll band Nazareth, apparently. Uh, I, I thought they were English guys because, uh, it wouldn't be until Nazareth moved into London that they would really take off musically. And when it comes to the UK... London is probably a, a, a much better place to be. If you're going to play the rock and roll game. Um, what can I say about Nazareth? Uh, again, they, they get started around 1968. They have been with us to this day. I mean, the last thing I've heard about Nazareth was about 2022. They have continually put out records, continually put out, uh, have done shows throughout the world. And granted, uh, what, what constitutes as Nazareth these days really isn't the same band it was in the 70s. Um, in fact, I think there's only one original member in Nazareth to this day. It's kind of like Thin Lizzy and the guitar player. Like, if you go see Thin Lizzy, it's, the only, it's only the guitar player you're really seeing as far as the original members. Um, Hair of the Dog. Woof, woof. This is one of the greatest rock and roll albums ever made. I mean, it, it, it stands up there with, um, you know, Led Zeppelin for Appetite for Destruction, Thriller, Nevermind, Master of Puppets. I mean, 2112, Rust in Peace. It's, it's one of those big, big records. Um, it's easily their most popular record. It's their masterpiece. Um, it's the record that got me into them. And uh, I want to say this was their fourth, maybe fifth record. 
but um, yeah other than that I don't really have much more history on this band um, it's uh, hair of the dog ruff, ruff, is one of those records that I mean you could absolutely hate Nazareth but still love this there's not a bad song on it and um, you know what I'm kind of tired of playing with the peas and, and, and playing with the mashed potatoes I, I think it's time to get to the meat of the matter the reason why you even watch this show and uh, and uh, play some play some Nazareth. Uh, oh, well, here, here's something. Uh, you know, as a record collector and uh, an aficionado of music, I don't go out of my way to to collect imports. Um, I don't have the time or money to do that sort of thing. However, I, I bought this at a garage sale. And you can tell by how beaten up this thing is. I, I, I think the guy uh, probably kept his records in a fish tank or something. The vinyl looks alright. I've probably had this for about 20 years. But... I actually own the English version of this. And I didn't know that until about 15, 10, 15 years ago. And the way you can tell, an easy way you can tell, the English version of Hair of the Dog um, versus the North American or U.S. version is that Love Hurts, one of their biggest songs, originally done by the Everly Brothers, um, is not on the English version. I mean, it, it's not on the U.S. version. Well, wait, wait, wait. Strike that. Reverse it. Love Hurts is on the U.S. version. It's not on the English version. And this is definitely the English version. Um, so, again, let's uh, let's let's do some jams. I'm gonna do one song. Uh, it's probably my favorite song on the record. And again, it's it's gonna be a deeper cut. I'm not gonna play Hair of the Dog, and I don't have Love Hurts, so I'm definitely not playing that one. So let's let's do it.
Beggar's Day. That is a cool song and probably my favorite song off this record. Um, every single song on this record is is a hit. Again, it's it's a perfect rock and roll record. Um, I have no doubt. I would put money on this that Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses modeled his vocal style after this guy. Um, no doubt. I I would be willing to bet on that. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you liked it. I know I did. I absolutely love this band. I love most of their records. This one, of course, being the best one. And um, hopefully I will see you next week. All love, my brothers and sisters. All love.